Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Hey, thanks to the 71,000 of you who have hit the follow button on my Facebook page. Head over today, click follow. It really helps me out. Now your forecast has a chance of storms. Here's what you need to know in your hour-by-hour -hour details. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Well, our biggest concerns in our weather of late have been the smoke and the thunderstorms, and they return in earnest as we go into your afternoon today. A few of them could be strong to severe. Here's a look at how things transpire. Heading into our morning, this model has a couple of showers here in the valley. The risk of severe in the morning, not very good, but as we go into the afternoon hours here, whoops, these, I clicked the wrong button. As we go into the afternoon hours, we're going to see these storms quickly fizzle out as they move off to the east. So uh, mid-morning uh, showers and thunderstorms rumbling through parts of central Minnesota as we go through and out of eastern uh, South Dakota as well. That sets the stage for a southerly wind. This is a cold front here. Ahead of the cold front, these winds are ripping out of the south and southwest. That warms us up and the humidity returns. Dew points will be 65 to 75 degrees. What does that mean? It's air you can wear. Sticky and icky. That's what we'll have. But that's the kind of air that fuels some strong thunderstorms. Now, anywhere along this cold front, thunderstorms, when they decide to fire, could be strong to severe. Looks like they initiate any time after about 2 in the afternoon. When they do, that'll be the greatest risk for an isolated tornado or two. That's not out of the question. There's a little bit of spin along the front, but the main risk is going to be some pretty ginormous hail over an inch and a half to two inches in diameter in gusty straight line winds. Not everywhere, but there is a chance of it. Now, as we make our way through time here, you're going to notice these thunderstorms heading into late evening will be more exclusively in the valley and Minnesota, and they turn and move southward. This backward C shape would indicate gusty straight line winds will be the main threat heading into the overnight hours. Now, it looks very widespread. In other words, it looks like everybody in eastern uh, North Dakota and western Minnesota is getting thunderstorms. That's not how this usually works, but I will keep you apprised of the situation. If thunderstorms form, wind, the number one threat, large hail, the number two threat, and an isolated tornado, particularly in the onset of the storms in the afternoon and early evening, not out of the question. These storms keep rumbling as we go through the overnight, diving south, and they're going to set up a boundary down here in South Dakota that the storms are going to ride along on Friday on Saturday and on Sunday, keeping most of the wet and stormy weather down in South Dakota, a better chance Sunday into Monday in our area for a few more thunderstorms. Now, how about a look at what's going on with all of this smoke? As we take a look at that smoke forecast here, we'll get to the details on that. We've had a plenty of it working its way and swirling its way through the region here as we've gone through the last couple of days. Here's a look. It moves down to the south with the approach of our cold front from the west. It dissipates with those southwest winds kind of clearing it out of here. So as we go through your Thursday, things are looking a little bit better. Then heading into Thursday night, it stays that way. So a little break from the smoke for the next day and a half to two days as we see this cold front make its way through on the back side of it. Sometimes we get some of that mixing back down to the surface. That would be sometime late on Friday, but I'll keep you posted there. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson reminding you that as you go through your afternoon, stay informed on hutchesweather.com. You can get the latest weather information right there. You can also follow me on Facebook and make sure you tune in tonight because guess what, folks? Hutch's Weather Kid is joining us and I cannot wait to introduce you to our fine weather kid this week. And that is going to be Ethan Peterson joining me from Crookston uh, and I can't wait for you to see and support this young man. So give Ethan a look at 430 right here on my Facebook page or on Hutchesweather.com. Throw a comment down, a showing of support and appreciation for these youngsters that help Hutch figure out the weather. Have a wonderful start to your Thursday. I'll keep you apprised of any storms as they form. I am uh, not running a full schedule right now still as my family deals uh, with the loss of my mom, but we will keep you posted on weather and make sure you stay informed no matter how you can tonight if storms move into your area. Thanks so much. Have a great day.